Hello there Year 3 and welcome to your PE lesson of dance. Now today we're going to be thinking about we are machines. Mm, we are machines. What is a machine? Pause the video here and have a chat with the person in the room with you. What did you decide a machine was? Excellent. Let's see if we've got the same. Now I think a machine is a device that does a physical task. It does something for you. So some machines might make moving or lifting things much easier. OK, so when we think of cranes, they pick things up, they move them and they put them down somewhere else. But other machines can carry people from place to place. So think about a car, for example, that's a machine and that has lots of elements and lots of parts to it to help us move. When we think of a lift, we get into the lift and it takes us up and down. That's also a machine. There are many different types of machines around with lots and lots of different parts. We are going to become a machine today. Now, if I show you this here, these are different parts of a machine. I've got the word cog and pump, lever, gear, button, piston, pedal many different parts now i've got a picture of some cogs a lever is something that you can pull so can you see that big picture of the lever at the bottom we've got some chains as well and a hook but the chains are on a pulley system so you pull one chain and it will go up and you pull it to come down if you have blinds at home, you might need to pull your blinds to make them go up and then pull them to make them go down. Here we are. I've got a, picture, a video here of a piston and a cog and the piston moves out and in, out and in to turn that cog around. Excellent. I have this great poem here that I want to read to you. It's called The Machine, and this is going to help us to become a machine later on. It always begins with a flick of a switch, a gentle humming as the beast starts to wake. Mm. Louder and louder, faster and faster, as part by part movement starts. Handles are pulled and buttons are pushed. Pedals are pressed and pumps build pressure. Cogs clock round, turning and clicking, lifting loads made light by levers. Chains, cla change, chains clang as they pull round and round and round. Gears crunch, shifting up and down. Every part working smoothly together, but at the same time, jerky, robotic and strong. I really like some of the words in that poem. We're going to share some of those words now. I really like the word jerky. What does jerky mean to you? To me, jerky means a very stiff movement. It's not fluid. It's not a smooth movement. It's a very stop start movement. Can you show me a jerky movement now? Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Is the word robotic? Oh, now robotic again. It reminds me of jerky too, but a little bit more uh, controlled, I think is the word. Can you show me your best robotic? movement now. Oh, I love that. Well done. Another word that they used was circling. And when we think about that piston and that cog, it was circling around, wasn't it? So sometimes you might have parts that circle around. And there was pushing, the word pushing, pushing when you're pushing the pedals, they're pressed down and pushing buttons. And then also things were pulled, weren't they? 
So we had pushing and pulling. And it was very forceful. The machine came to life and it was very forceful and purposeful in its movement. It had one movement for each part and it kept doing that. And each of the movements were very sharp, weren't they? Each part has a purpose. It could be that it's pushing or pulling. It could be very robotic. It could be circling. They're all very forceful and they're all very sharp. They're all very strong as well, aren't they? I really liked that poem. I thought it was really good. Did you like it too? Yeah. Now, in dance, we need to use counts of eight. OK, so before we start any warm up, what we're going to do is we're going to count in eight. First, we're going to clap. OK, and then we're going to tap our shoulders and then we're going to clap again and then we're going to move our arms to the count of eight. So I want you to follow me now. Are you ready? Get your hands ready. We're going to count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Wonderful. Now we're going to tap our shoulders. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely. Let's clap again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. Now let's move our arms. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Could you pause the video here and could you make up some other movements that you can do to the count of eight? Excellent. You do that now. Welcome back. Did you think of lots of different movements? Fantastic. So for our warm up today, we're going to be doing three movements. We're going to be doing jumping jacks, heel flicks and spotty dogs. Now, I'm going to show you a video of each of these movements. And remember, we're going to be counting to eight for each movement. So let me show you how they work. So we have our jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. And then we have our heel flicks too, okay? Now we can go a little bit slower than this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was quite quick, wasn't it? And then we have our spotty dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you see how he's doing that quite quickly? And this is what I'd like you to do. So are you ready? Let me just move the video on. Excellent. OK, I've got some music. Are you ready? I'm going to count you. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go to our heel flicks, ready? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Do you spot your dogs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's come back to the One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Heel flicks. Okay, now, super warm. Oh, give yourself a shake. 
we're going to look at we're going to construct our dance now. Okay. Now, we're going to think of three different elements to our dance. We're going to have cogs, pistons, and levers. So cogs move with turning and spinning movements, okay? Pistons move up and down in a circular motion, okay? You remember that video that I showed you at the beginning? And levers lift moving up and down, forwards and backwards. Now, I'm going to show you the first part of a dance, okay? And in this dance, we're going to just use our arms and we're going to be levers. And for each count, we're going to move a different part of our arm, okay? So we're either going to go forwards and backwards to the side and in, okay? And it's going to go like this. So on count one, we're going to move our one arm forward. Count two will be our second arm. Count three will be bringing it back. Count four will be bringing the next one back. Count five will be pushing it to the one side. Count six to the other side. Count seven, bringing it back to the middle. Count eight, bringing it back to the middle. And then we're going to start again, okay? Can you do that with me now? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a little video to show you though, in case you're not too sure. Let me show that now for you. Okay. Watch the children here. One, two, three, four, five, That's what I'd like you to have a go at first. Pause the video here and have a go at doing that now. Welcome back. Okay, so now you've had a go at that part of the activity. We're going to move on to your part of the activity now. So you're going to create a dance as if you were a machine. So remember the different parts of the machine. Cogs that spin round, Pistons that move round in a circular motion and levers that go up and down. Now, using the count of eight to create each part of the machine. So remember to be jerky, pushing, pulling, robotic, strong, sharp. Now you can choose any music you like to create your dance to, but could you find music that represents a machine? So remember, create a dance as if you were a machine. Use the count of eight. That's really important. If you're not sure, go back to that video again and watch those children. You can start with that part of the dance and build from there. I'm really excited to see what you do. If you want to, see if somebody could film you doing your dance and send that to me. Have fun today with your PE guys. Enjoy. Bye.